Xanthan gum is born in Okmulgee, Oklahoma. And it all begins with corn or corn syrup. The syrup is a kind of liquid cornstarch, sweet, viscous, and loaded with energy. It's used in sodas and syrup and sweeteners. And it's the ideal food for xanthanomus. At CP Kelco's 95-acre facility, fully loaded 100-ton rail cars pull into the yard every week. Each sealed car contains 20,000 gallons of corn syrup. It takes about six hours from the pumping station to pump it over into a holding tank. From there, chemists inside the plant's lab inoculate the corn syrup with the xanthanomus bacteria and start to mix. The agitator is like a big shaker table. The agitation causes friction, and then the warmth of the room causes the bacteria to begin to grow. In this sugary environment, bacteria replicates fast. One bacterium cell can spawn 100 trillion identical cells in just 48 hours. From a little tiny, tiny amount of stuff and turns into 40,000 gallons. <laughs> After a few days, the bacteria has consumed the carbohydrates in the corn and excreted a gooey residue, xanthan gum, ideal for a variety of commercial uses. Xanthan gum is used where they want to have a uniform suspension it goes into applications where water needs to be controlled so that when your toothpaste is squeezed out, it doesn't run out of the tube, but it's actually squeezed out onto your toothbrush. But what is it about this corn-powered slime that's so vital to hard rock oil drilling? It turns out that xanthan gum has a unique ability to lubricate and suspend rugged materials deep underground properties that are key to the roughnecks working the drill. If you can imagine when you're trying to drill an original hole, there are a lot of particulates, a lot of rocks, a lot of dirt, things that we don't want to have included in the end product being oil. The benefit of the xanthan gum is it allows it to suspend the particles as you're drilling that hole to clean out the hole so that you get a uniformity drilling zone. Keeping a hole uniform doesn't just make drilling easier. It helps prevent deadly accidents called blowouts. You're punching a hole into an area that's gonna come out. It's like punching a hole in a balloon. But it's in the ground, so the pressure's squeezed out and it comes out this hole. So any little spark, it'll ignite and catch on fire. 